We've got trains and boats and planes. 1965 by Bacharach and David. Um, made famous by quite a few singers, but uh, I sort of focused on the uh, Dionne Warwick, Dionne Warwick, I don't know, version um, of the song. Um, and uh, I will put a link in the description below to her version on YouTube. I think it's in the same key. Don't hold me to that, but I think it is. So you can play along. Let's have a look at the song. So we've got a few chords just to revise here. Um, we've got the A sus4, right, which is the uh, the uh, strings 3 and 4 on fret 2. But the way I would like you to do that is if you start off with the, uh, the A chord in the normal way, you can see my fingers up here, index finger on the uh, string 3 fret 1, and the middle finger over onto string 4 fret 2 for your A. And then from there we go to the A sus4 which means this, the third string has to come to the second fret. And the way we should do that is to just tuck your little index, sorry, your ring finger in next to your middle one, just to override the index finger, which is still down for your A chord. So play the A chord, leave it there, but put your ring finger as well, right in there next to your middle finger, so that you're getting string three on fret two. And then we lift it again, and put it down again, lift it again, because there's a lot of alternating between those. So have a little practice, hit pause if you need to, and have a little practice at just alternating between those two chords. Similarly, we've got the D suspended fourth. So play the D. Uh, the way I, I do that is I use my index finger to really squish um, two strings, three and four, and put my middle finger in behind to get the string two. So you're getting the three pushed down for your D chord, right? Leave them down, but put your, again, your ring finger down, this time in front of the middle finger, so that you're getting that um, second string onto the third fret. Yeah, lift it again, put it down again, lift it, that's your D, put it down, gives you the suspended fourth. So have a little practice at that. Uh, we've got the F sharp minor, which is the same shape as a G7, uh, just over there on um, strings 2, 3 and 4. Lovely little chord, that one. Apart from that, I think we know all of the other chords. Um, so before we play the song in earnest, um, I'll just play uh, the first verse for you. Um, in fact, I'll play the second verse and also that third bridge, which starts with the F sharp minor. Okay, so uh, we'll have a go at that. So where, where it says the second verse, we were so in love, I'll come in there. Two, three, four. We were so in love. And high above, we had a star to wish upon wish, and dreams come true, but not for me, the trains and the boats and planes you took away, away from me. You are from another part of the world. You had to go back a while and then You said you would soon return again I'm waiting here like I promised to I'm waiting here, but where are you? Trains and boats and planes, right? So that's, that's how it goes So uh, I think maybe we should have a crack at it Ourselves, are you ready? We'll give it a go. Starts off with a couple of bars of A. Here we go. A one, two, a one, two, three, four. Trains and boats and planes are passing by. They mean a trip to Paris or Rome for someone else, but not for me. 
The trains and the boats and planes took you away, away from me. We were so in love and high above. We had a star to wish upon wish and dreams come true, but not for me. The trains and the boats and planes. Took you away, away from me. You, from another part of the world, you had to go back a while and then. You said you would soon return again. I'm waiting here, like I promised to. I'm waiting here, but where are you? And planes took you away, but every time I see them, I pray. And if my prayer can cross the sea, the trains and the boats and planes will bring you back.